Frequency time is a microcontroller-based second-generation circuit breaker time interval meter. It measures the closing, opening, and CO times of various types of circuit breakers up to 245 kV. The equipment tests up to three main and three PIR contacts at a time. First, make the positive connections of the input supply for the trip and close coils. Connect the red cable to the positive terminal of the input supply. The coil input supply may either be 110 volts DC, or 220 volts DC, depending on the breaker. Next, connect the blue and yellow cables. These are the trigger inputs for the breaker trip and close coils. Then, make the connections for the R, Y, and B breaker contacts. Connect the other end of the breaker contacts cables to the R, Y, and B poles of the circuit breaker. Press the power on button to switch on the instrument. Press the battery status check button to check the battery charge status. If the battery status is low, connect the mains cable and provide a 230 volts AC mains supply to charge the battery. Use the up and down arrow keys to navigate within the menu. Find the system settings option and press the enter key to enter the system settings menu. To set a parameter, select the parameter using the arrow keys and then press the enter key. Use the arrow keys to change the value and press the enter key to save the value and move the cursor. Press the escape key to go to the previous menu. Using this method, you can set the command duration, the pass-fail limits for the main and PIR contact timings, and select the sampling speed. You can also enable or disable the timing limits and the PIR channels. at the utilities menu. The view all records option shows the records stored in the instrument's memory. Use the arrow keys to scroll through the records. Press the enter key to open a record. Once you open a record, the main and PIR contact timings are shown. Press the enter key to view the bounces. Press the down arrow key to print the results using the built-in thermal printer. The send all records option is used for transferring the records from the instrument's memory to the PC. You can use the delete all records option to delete all the records from the instrument's memory. From the clock option, you can set the instrument's date and time. You need to first set the date. And after that you can set the time. Use the enter key to move the cursor. And, use the arrow keys to change the values.
the debug menu helps in verifying that the CTime is working correctly. By using the options in the debug menu, you can test that the R, Y, and B contact statuses are read correctly. You can also test the serial port functionality, the instrument's internal memory, the close and trip commands, and the clock. Additionally, you can check the calibration due date and test the built-in printer's functionality. Overall, by using the debug menu, the user can understand the fault and, if possible, also resolve it independently. Print All Records option lets you print all the records from the instrument's internal memory using the built-in thermal printer. We will now perform a close operation on the breaker. When the breaker operates, the C-Time measures the main and PIR contact timings, and shows them on the screen. Press the Enter key to view the bounces. Press the down arrow key to print the results using the built-in printer. Press the up arrow key to store the results in the instrument's memory. You can also perform the open, CO, and OC operations. The C time can also perform the O, 0.3 seconds delay, CO, 3 minutes delay, CO, special cycle test. This ends the C-Time Circuit Breaker Time Interval Meter demonstration.